So good evening everybody. Welcome once again to a um, workout from Geneva. Now seeing people all over the place. I know that we've got people watching us from South Africa, uh, New York, Monaco, uh, France, South America, uh, Italy. So it's really fantastic. Welcome to everybody. What I'd like to do is, for those who haven't actually got to meet us yet, I'd like to introduce myself as Susan Arena from the Swiss Body Pilates Centers in Geneva. I have the whole team, I think, of Swiss Body people also watching and listening this evening. So the first thing we all want to do is wish my husband, Giuseppe, happy birthday, because it's his birthday tonight. And my son, Greg, whose birthday was yesterday. <laughs> So I can see everybody blowing kisses to, uh, to, to my husband and to my son, Gregory. Um, what we're going to be doing this evening is first and foremost not Pilates. You probably might say, well, why is a Pilates teacher not Hello. doing Pilates? Hello. Um, what's important to know is that I actually don't think it's really good to do Pilates mat work on screen or on in a, in a working environment like we're in because if you're lying on a mat and you're doing mat work you're going to be turning your head sideways to look at the screen and it's not going to be very good for you to do a whole workout looking at the screen so that's why i prefer to do a standing workout which i devised probably 16 17 years ago based on my background more as a dancer and as a person who works with people um, in, all world, in all walks of the world um, doing different types of training. And standing work is so important for balance, for strength. And it's, everything will be based anyway on the Pilates principles. So the very first Pilates principle that we're going to work on this evening is going to be breathing. Um, let's all stand up and we'll just have a look at some good breathing. Now I'm going to take a fan and what I want you to do is imagine that you've got a fan held down the front of your chest. When you breathe in, you're going to open that fan and when you breathe out, you're going to pull up your pelvic floor muscles, pull your tummy button up and inside you and let the fan close. So you breathe in and you open your rib cage like a fan. And as you breathe out, you're going to tighten the pelvic floor, pull in your tummy and close the fan. And again, breathe in and open your ribs sideways, open up. And as you breathe out, pull in your tummy and close the fan. Now you should also imagine that you've got a fan exactly the same in your back. It's more hard for me to show you. And you also want to feel that you're breathing into your back and breathing out. And this is really important. The feeling of not just the ribs opening in the front, but also in the back. And when you close your ribs, also think of the ribs closing at the back. So you're working two fans, front and back of your body, at the same time opening and closing. This will help you to really correctly use the rib cage and not just work at the front. We have a lot of dancers watching tonight. We've got dancers from the Monte Carlo Ballet, we've got dancers from the Cape Town City Ballet, and we've got a wonderful young man who is part of the Paris Ballet School, the Paris Opera Ballet School. So what I'm thinking of for you is dancers is very often you're told Put your ribs in. And that's probably the worst possible thing, sorry, we should tell dancers because otherwise you try and overdo it and you're pushing your ribs inside your body. Rather think that your ribs are fans and that they're closing so that you can breathe out and grow as you close your ribs and you don't crush your body down or push your ribs inside. That's really not what we're going for. The other thing we want is if that was my spine we've got a tomato this tomato is my belly button 
Don't just think when you breathe out that you're pulling your belly button into your spine. Try and think, wait, I put it in front of the black of my t-shirt. Try and think that you're breathing out, your belly button goes in and up. You breathe in, breathing out, your belly button's going to go up inside you. So that's quite a lot of things to think about. So can you try and think about that? Open your ribs like those fans, breathe in, and as you breathe out, that feeling of tightening up the pelvic floor muscles, the belly button goes inside and up, and then you want to lift your chest and lengthen your spine. So let's try and put all those thoughts in together, slowly, with a bit of concentration. So stand nice and tall, your feet in parallel, try and just open up your shoulders, and you're going to breathe in, let the fans of your ribs open, and as you breathe out, you're going to pull the pelvic floor muscles up. You're going to pull your tummy button inside and up. Your ribs will then close the fans and you grow. Breathe in. Breathe out. Tummy button in and up. Close the fans. Lift your chest and grow. Breathe in. Open your fans. Breathe out. Pull the tummy button up and in. Close your fans. Lift your sternum and grow. And again, breathe in, open those ribs. Breathe out, lift the pelvic floor muscles, tummy button up and in, close your ribs, lift the sternum and grow. We call that magic breathing. Breathe in, open the ribs. Breathe out, pelvic floor, tummy button in, sternum up and grow. One more, breathe in, open the ribs. Breathing out, tummy button up and in, close your fans, lift your chest and grow. So that's the breathing that's going to tighten in your waist and give you the stability we need to be able to control the body while we're working. This evening is the sixth lesson that we've done and every lesson I try and bring in some more details. I like to do the most advanced class on a Friday and put in a lot more details on Mondays. So if you come in on Monday, we'll speak about the spirals in your legs and how to really get the best position in the legs that you can. What I'd like to talk about for today is spirals that you've got in your shoulders. So if I take this bandage, all right, and imagine it's chest attached here on my chest. It's going to go up over my shoulder. It's going to go down my back. My shoulder blade is going like that. So when I lift my arms up, there's that movement that's going down and under the armpit as the arm goes up. All right? Your shoulder blade is the counterweight to lift your arm. So never think, oh, I let's lift my shoulder. Think my shoulder blade goes down and underneath the armpit to bring my arm up. And then you start working your shoulder in the shoulder joint and you don't lift your arms from your neck muscles, which is what we often do. The other thing is to understand is that once you've got that shoulder blade that's coming down and underneath, you also need to feel that the arm is spiraling. Can you see that? So in fact, when I lift my arm, I rotate my arm in the direction of these spirals. Feel the difference if you turn your shoulder in and try and lift your arm. Feel how you block it. If you lift your arm and you feel that feeling of turning the arm as though you're trying to wrap the back of the arm towards me, you can feel it so much easier. So that's what I call the arm spirals that the arm goes up, can you see your armpit turns really towards the front? If your armpits turn backwards, you can feel it's not comfortable. That spiral effect gets our arms up easily as the shoulder blade is going down. So we'll need to think of that to have good arm movements while we're working. Let's start sitting down and we're going to do a bit of footwork to warm up our feet. So sit down on the floor. If you need to put the screen down a bit. Bring your feet out in front of you. Perfect. That's it. 
and we're just going to be sit up nice and straight and work just from the ankles so your knees won't move. Just rotate big circles from the ankle, keeping your hands on your knees to feel that you're only moving from the ankle, not from the top of the leg. Go around the other way, down and round, down and round, down and round, and four, and five, sit up nice and tall, six, and seven, and eight, good. Now we're just going to point the feet down and come back up again, and point them down and come back again. Now don't forget that when we point our feet, we want to point the ankle and then the toes go long and far away and come back. And point the ankle and the toes go long and far away and back. And that's the same thing for dancers. We shouldn't be pointing our feet with our toes all curled up. And again, point the ankle. Feel you reaching from the ankle first, then go far away with your toes. And one more, ankle, and go far away with the toes, keeping nice and straight with your back. Now we're going to go and pick out the weeds. So we're going to go down, your toes are up, go far away, pull from the center of the foot and re release. Go out and pull and release. That's it, out and pull and release. So we're not just crunching up the toes, you're trying to go over and you're pulling up here, that's the metatarsals. And again, far over, pull out the weeds. Far away, pull out the weeds. And far away, and pull out the weeds, good. And now we're going to change it, you go down. Long, reach, and up. Down, over, reach, long toes, come up with long open toes. And again, down, that's over our metatarsals. And reach, and one more down, and reach. Good work, All right. If I change around, don't you change around. It's just me getting the best place for you to see what I'm doing. We're going to do prayer feet. So that's the soles of the feet into each other. Your big toes are coming to your nose. Your toes are straight up to the ceiling. Circle your feet down towards me. Come back up now with your baby toes pulling towards your face. Go down, come up and your big toes are pulling. You're trying to close the soles of your feet together like as if you're putting your hands together. Down and up, down and big toes. Down and baby toes towards you. Good work. Down and big toes. And you feel how it's working with legs right the way down, right through the lower legs. And down and up. And down and up. Good work. Right. Creepy crawlies. Remember these ones. Yesterday with my mum, we did a Mexican wave before we did the pull. So Mexican wave goes little toes to big toes. As though you're playing a piano, I'll do it with my hand on the floor. It goes baby toe, second toe, middle toe, big toe. So you're rolling with the toes. Three is five. And we're going to do Mexican wave, pull. 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 Go back, Mexican wave, come towards you. Mexican wave, come towards you. Mexican wave, the feet come to you. Mexican wave, feet come to you. I'm going to change into, pa into profile. Mexican wave, pull. Mexican wave, pull. That's it, as though you're playing the piano with your toes each time. Down, 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 pull. Down, 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 pull. Down, 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 pull. Change. Pull in, push out. Pull in, push out. Mexican wave, pull in, push out. That's it, good. And out. Now just we're going to do one foot at a time, and one, then the other, 
and the other, and the other, and the other, and the other, and the other, and the other, and change. That's a challenge. And again, forward. And back. Good work. Now we're going to do the, what we call little birds. So pull up. One, two, three, four, five. The feet are turning out. Flatten your feet, pull them in. I'll face you. And one, two, three, four, five. Flatten the feet, come back. One, two, three, four, five. Long toes. When I say flatten, I want long toes and pull back. Up. One, two, three, four, five. Long toes. And one more. One, two, three, four, five. Long toes. Now we change. We go to spread open up. One, two, three, four, five. Open up. One, two, three, four, five. Open up. One, two, three, four, five. Last one. Open up. And one, two, three, four, five. Stop. Fantastic. All right. You're going to get up. Get up slowly. Go onto your toes. That's better. And then we're going to all get up slowly. Right, nice and slow. Grab the broom. Okay, we're going to take a broomstick. All right, so what we're going to do is start with your broomstick on the floor. Bend your knees, put it down in front of your feet. All right, we're going to do roll downs. So let's start with a nice big breath, thinking about opening our fans. And as you breathe out, start rolling down. You start with the neck, then the upper body, lower body. Go all the way down. Breathe in and come back up, lifting the belly. Find the pelvis. Come back to And again, breathe in. And go down through the neck, through your rib cage. Keep going all the way down. Get to the bottom, breathe in and breathing out. Come up, I'm watching you. Come all the way up and stop. Right. Remember the triangle. So when we're standing, we want the triangle to be vertical. We don't want to have our triangle point back. That's not right. And we don't want the triangle point to be pushed forward. That's not right. You want to try and find your triangle absolutely vertical. So one more roll down and we're going to take our broomstick. So breathe in, breathe out and go down. We're going to take the broomstick and breathe out and come up slowly. All the way up. Good. Now, without breaking in anything in your home, put the broomstick behind your bottom, palms turn to face me. And we're going to just start by head working the neck. So turn your head to the right and come back. And to the left and come back. And breathe out. And come back, breathing in. And breathe out. And come back. And we're looking to the right and come back and look to the left and come back six times. Now look to the right and we do a half circle. Take your chin down, follow your collarbone and look to the left. Breathe in, go down, follow the collarbone and come up. And again, breathe out and up. And again, breathe out and down. That'll do. And look at me. And incline your head over. Receiving a kiss on your neck. Keep the opposite shoulder nicely down. You're probably feeling quite a strong stretch. Keeping the shoulders open. Come back. And the other way. Take your head inclined so your nose stays facing me. Feeling a long opening down the side of the neck. I'm reaching at this moment in time, this side, my opposite side down, firmly down. And come back and again, breathe out, incline, 
That's it. Now it's this side. You're pulling it down to the floor. Go on, pull. Be nice to yourself. Go gently. And come back. Good. All right. I want to just do a little bit more breathing, and then we're going to start moving the legs. So take a big breath. Open your fans. Breathe out, lift the pelvic floor muscles, pull your tummy button up and in, close your fans, ribs and chest up. And again, breathe in, open the ribs. Breathe out, go and pull your tummy in deeply. Feel that you're working deep inside your tummy. Your chest is lifted and you feel that the top of your head is going up to the ceiling. One more, breathe in and breathing out. Lift your pelvic floor muscles, tummy in, ribs close as you empty your lungs and relax. Lovely. All right, feet together. Today we're going to work, if possible, using the arms and not having a stick to hold us up. If you don't have good balance, please rather work constantly just keeping your stick on the ground to give you balance. And don't forget that if you start getting tired, this is what we call the basic movement. All right, if you're tired, you just go into this movement quietly on your own. Give yourself time to breathe and then you join up with what we're doing. Nobody force yourself, please everybody be careful. So we're going to go into that position, feet together. Remember we spoke about triangles where my toes are together, but my heels are slightly apart to have a perfect parallel. The legs are finding the spirals. If you were here this week, you've heard about the spirals. And if possible, what really helps is having a cushion to start, which you put you between your legs, and it gives you a feeling of, are my inner thighs working? And is my bottom keeping the control in the hips, right? So when I hold a cushion like that, I'm thinking of closing around the back of my bottom and I'm holding the back of the cushion, not the front, the back. All right, so our feet are together. If you've got a cushion, it's brilliant. If you haven't, imagine. And we're going to start, bend the knees, straighten and rise up. We're only going to do four like this. And breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. One more, out and in and out, stay up and one. Your bottom stronger. Three, four, stay eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven and eight and down. Turn the legs out from the hip. Now that we bend, obviously we can't hold the cushion, but coming up the feeling is squeeze, squeeze, squeeze that cushion. All right. So bend and squeeze the cushion and rise. And bend. Squeeze the cushion and rise. And bend. And breathe out with the spirals in the shoulders, and stay, and one. Breathe out, two, and three, and four, stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Come down, don't move your toes, just put your heels into parallel. And breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out, and breathe in, and breathe out, and breathe in, and stay, four rises, and breathe, and two, and three, and four, stay up, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, come down, don't move your heels, turn the feet out. That's the legs that have just turned out. And we bend. The center of your knee is aligned with the center of your foot, your second toe. And straighten. Breathe out, rise. Down. And bend. 
Breathe out, rise. Your body is absolutely over the center of your two feet. And the last one. And stay down and up. One, two, three, four. Stay there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Down. Don't move your heels. Feet into parallel. Bend and stretch. Rise and bend. Go and breathe out. Close your fans. Breathe in, open them and bend. Breathe out. Last one. And bend. And stay. And one. You're pulling your tummy button in. Don't pull that tummy. Three. And hold. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come down slowly. We're going to bring our heels in. Feel that you turned out from your hips. Imagine the cushion between your thighs. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. And bend. Squeeze the cushion and rise. And bend. And rise. We're opening our fans front and back and closing them as we breathe out. And stay. Long straight legs. One, two, three, four, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Come down. Back to base. And bend. And stretch. Rise. Feeling the spirals in the legs. Tummy up. Is your triangle still in place? And one more. And stay down and up and one. Long legs. Two, three, four. Stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And down. Good work. Right. Don't break anything in your home. Put the pole behind your bottom. Shoulders are down. Remember I spoke to you about the right position for the arm is imagine that you're holding somebody, something under your armpit, right up high and under the armpit, but I'm not holding it from the front of my arm, I'm holding it from the back of the arm. Feel the difference. Right up into your armpit and turn the back of your arm into your body. Now relax. The lower arm. And that's a beautiful position for the arms and the shoulders. Now come back. Put the pole behind your bottom. But keep that feeling of holding something under your armpit. Control is very important. Being rigid is not at all good. So we're controlling, right? You're holding something gently under your armpit. You're not gripping it. Bring the right foot forward. Lift the foot and on circle round. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and change. One, two, my front foot's right under my nose. And five, six, seven, eight, point. Breathe in, go up. Breathe out, go down. I'm going to move back a tiny bit. I'm out of the screen. And two. And three. And four. And five. Breathe out as you come down. Tummy button in. And seven. And eight. Turn the leg out. Put it back straight. Two. We're moving from the hip joint. Four. Go on. Five. Up tall six. Use your bottom muscles to turn that leg. And stop. Up and down. Breathe out. One. Breathe out. Two. It's my magic breathing. Each time I breathe out. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Stay up. Leg circle. One. Two. Three. Four. I move my leg in the hip. Two, three, four, and close down. Good work. Find that center point. Spirals, triangle. Your bottom muscles, under, just under your bottom, are holding you in place. Now we have to bring the other leg out. 
in front of your nose. Lift it up and circle. One, two, long straight leg. Four, five, six, seven, and change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Breathe in up and down. One, and two, and three, four. Nice straight leg. Five, six, seven, eight. Turn out. One, two, three. Grow tall. Four. Up on your supporting leg. Work that bottom. Six, seven, eight. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay up. Circle one, two, three, four. Change one, two, three, four, and close. We're going to stretch the thighs. Remember, this is the one. Take the ankle. That's it. Supporting leg is bent. You're pulling up your tummy. Pushing the hips forward. That's not good. Go on, push. Almost trying to find a pelvic tilt. Bringing your pubic bone towards your nose. Try and take your knee to the floor. And breathe. Pull in the tummy. Good, change sides. We're going to take up the other leg. Don't forget you're trying to keep your triangle vertical. Shoulders are down. Tummy's in. Go on. I'm going to do it with you. Pull your tummy in and squeeze down your bottom and push your hips forward. Good. My underneath leg is slightly bent. But I'm being very careful to keep the alignment of my knee over the center of my foot, as usual. Excellent. And release. Good. Now, grab your cushion. If you've got it there, grab it. Put it back between the legs, right up high. All right. Feet are parallel. And we're going to, again, correct our triangle. Stand nice and straight. Shoulders are down. And now we're going to do today the balancing. Hands are forward, bend both knees, and we're going to point the foot behind. Breathing out, we lift the foot. One, and two, and three, and four. Go on, pull in your tummy. You have to squeeze under your bottom. Six, and seven, and eight. Stay there. Round of one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and down, and flex. And two, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, stay, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, down. Good point, flex, down. Point, flex, down. Three. Four. Go and squeeze. Pull that leg up high. Six. You're feeling the back of your legs working. Seven. Pull. And your bottom's got to be tight. And stop. Same leg that you just work comes forward. And you're going to bend. Try and really come forward from the hips. Sit bones are out. You can put the pole down. And just try and have a long spine. Shoulders are down. I'm not back rounded. I'm trying to pull out my sit bones. Reach them away. You're feeling the stretch up the back of the legs. This leg's nice and straight. Foot's nicely flexed. Big breaths. And close the legs. Come back up. And we've got the other leg to do. So, push in if you can. 
Change over. Now I'm going in support of the people who want to hold a pole. That's the other option. If you're strong, if you're courageous, courageous, you're going to bring your hands out forward. Otherwise, we're here. And if you have, if you're holding the pole, please put the other hand behind your head. Hands on hips is a bad thing. Look how it turns my shoulder in. Hand behind the head brings the shoulder blade into a good position. All right. So two options, either here or here. Let's go. Squeezing the pillow, foot back, and off we go. Breathe out. One. Squeeze. Two. And three. I'm squeezing my cushion. Four. And five. And six. And seven. And stay. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down and flex. And two. Pull in the tummy. Three. Four. Shoulders are down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And stay. And a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And single heel kick. Point. Flex. Down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Last one, eight. And stretch the foot forward. Take away your pillow. Come forward. That's it. Shoulders down. Sit bones reaching. Flat back. Pull your belly in. And don't look at me, please. It's not good for your neck. Look down. Look at your foot. Feel the back of your neck long. Breathe deeply. And then come back. Good work. Right, butt work. So again, arms are up. We're squeezing the legs together. We've got our spirals. Our shoulders are down. The spirals in the arms, remember? Shoulder blades down under your back, under the armpit. Spirals in your legs too. Arches are up. All those things. All right. Nice and tall. And let's bring the leg out to the side. The foot is parallel. You're very up tall. This bottom is having to work like crazy to keep you strong. And we're going to go up. And one. Come down and squeeze. And two. And three. And four. This is also that feeling of the cushion at the top of your legs. You're squeezing it. Six. And seven. And eight. Stay up. And one, two, three, four. Grow five, six, seven, eight. And squeeze. Breathe out two. Breathe out three. And four. And five. And six. And seven, and eight, stay up, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Point your foot. Little movement forward, flex and press it back. You don't change your triangle. Two, three, triangle, four. Use your butt, five, six, nearly finished, seven, Eight, you're going to come down into a wide leg position. Bend your knees. We're going to do a quick checklist. Is my pelvis directly over the line between my two feet? I'm not sitting back. I'm straight down. Is the center of my two knees over my second toe? That's it. And come up. Get that feeling of squeezing, squeezing the cushion between our legs. Breathe in and come down. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in. Come on, that's where the squeeze is. And you're opening the thighs and squeezing a, cu a cushion. And come up and squeeze the cushion. Good. And one more. Eight. Stay down. And one, two, three. You're still squeezing on your butt. Five, 
You're pushing your knees away from you. Eight, stay there. Release your knees, push them back. One, two, tummy, three. Push the knees. And five, and six, and seven. I'm keeping my triangle, I'm pushing the knees back. Do some more, please. And one, two, go and keep the pelvis. Three, squeeze on the butt, push your knees back. Five, six, seven, eight. Stay there, lift your right heel and down. Lift your left heel and down. Right heel. I'm not moving the triangle. I'm pushing my thighs back. And seven and eight both heels up and down one and two if you pull in your tummy button firmly each time you breathe out you'll get all the strength and control you need squeeze on your butt and seven and eight come up with that feel of squeeze 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 and change to do the other leg. <laughs> so nice and strong, butt squeezed, and the other leg goes out. And breathe in, breathe out, let's bring the arms up. One, and two, and three, and four. Shoulders are down, five, and six, and seven, and eight, stay up, and a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and squeeze, and breathe out, two, and three, and four, nice and tall, don't lean over, five, this side's going to be strong, six, and seven, and eight, stay up, and one, two, three, four, lift your sternum, and eight, forward, press back, one. Don't move your triangle, two. Breathe out, three. The foot's coming to me, going back, four. Press it back, five, without losing your triangle, six, seven, eight. And bend those legs, and come up. And again, bend, and squeeze, and bend. Let's lift the arms right up, up. And bend. breathe out and breathe in and breathe out. Last one in, breathe out, bring your arms down. You're going to put the pole down, switch to face the side. Once you've seen what I'm doing, you're going to look straight ahead or stay facing me. I'm very happy with that. Remember the position we want. Can you see? Straight down under my shoulder, straight through my thigh, absolutely vertical line. Here's another vertical line. I'm not like that. I've pulled in my tummy. I've squeezed under my butt. And here we go. You have to breathe out as you come up. One. And breathe out. Two. As I come up, I'm thinking my belly button up and in. And I'm squeezing my butt to push my hips forward. You'll almost get a stretch in the front of this leg. And hit, hand behind your head. And seven. Tummy in. Eight. Stay down. One, two, three, four. In. Six, seven, eight. Come up. Push your hips forward. Squeeze under your butt. And again. Breathe in. Breathe out. One. And two. And breathe out, three, the magic breathing, four, and breathe out, grow, and six, and seven, and eight, stay down, last time, one, two, go and squeeze your butt, four, five, six, seven, be ready, close your feet, come front, find your spirals, up and down, one, and Two, long straight legs. Three, feel the cushion still being squeezed between the top of your thighs. Good work. Six, two more. Seven, 
Eight, I want to go open legs, bend, come up and squeeze the cushions eight times and then we do the other side. Two, don't sit back as you bend, keep your hips forward. Three, and squeeze that butt. Four, open your thighs. Five, and shoulders go down. Six, two more. Seven, eight. Are you ready to work the other leg? Change, four, change. Hand behind my head, hips square. Tummy in, bottom strong, and four, one. And breathe out, two. Squeeze under your butt, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stay down, tummy in, bottom squeeze, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, come up, push your hips forward, and one. When I say hips forward, I'm pushing forward from under my butt, from here. Three, and four, that's it. Five, and six, and seven, and eight. Stay down, and a one, two, go and pull your tummy in, Three. grow tall. Beautiful, come back and close. New one, one hand behind your head. Slow motion. The foot's going to go half point. Push with my toes, lift the leg and hold. Half point, put my heel down. Half point, push as though you're jumping with your toes. Down, press, up. Push, down, press, up, push, down, press, that's four and five. Now a little bit smoother, six, still the same movement, seven, stay up, little pulses lifting your thigh as high as you can, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, come down. Mind your spirals, change sides, hand behind your head. Keep that feeling of being up, triangle. We're going to place the foot, half point, push with your toes, lift. Half point, bring your heel back. One, up, and down. Two, up, and down. And the down is just as important as the up. My end positions, the beginning position for the next movement. So it's got to be clean. Four, five, six, seven, last one, eight, and one, two. Feel as though you're lifting from the center of your body. Six, seven, eight, and down. <laughs> Good work. Open to the side. Remember, open doesn't mean put my feet out. Open means turn my thighs out. We're going to work to the side. In your Pilates lessons, maybe you've done the oyster. It's also called the clam. We're going to do it like the oyster, but in motion. So we're going to do the same movement with the foot. Toe push. Toe close. Toe push. Toe close. And three. And down. And four. Down. Squeeze your inner thumbs. Five. And squeeze. And six. And squeeze. And seven. And stay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And down. Good work. Change sides. And behind your head. Spiral in your shoulder and half point push, half point down. Two, breathe out three, breathe out four, breathe out five, and six, and seven, 
Stay up and one, two, swing your heel forward to me. Six, seven, eight, and stop feet together. We now have to open up the front again. So we're going to go to the back. Going to the back is very hard because we arch our back. So you're going to bend your legs. We're going to turn out one leg. The knee is turning out, watch. I'm taking the foot behind me, behind my nose. Long straight leg. We lift the leg and we put it down. This is hard, two. Don't think you can go very high, three. You're pulling your tummy up, four. And five. Try and get the foot behind your nose, six. Pull in your tummy, seven. And reach away, eight. And nine. And ten. Stay there, little passes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And close. Good work. Bend. Turn out. Go behind you. Now I have to be really careful as I don't let my hips swing open. And keeping that hand there, let's do this one here. Think of the tomato that went in and up. And tummy, one. Breathe out, two, and three, and four, and five. It's not high, six, and seven, and stay, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and close. Beautiful work. Right, a bit, six more minutes. <laughs> Let's do a bit of arm work. In fact, let's do less arm work today and a bit more spinal mobility. I think that's good for all of us, all right? So stand up nice and tall, feel a triangle, bend the knees, tighten in under your bottom. Here you're strong. Bring your arms forward. Take a deep breath and we're going to do a rotation to the right. Breathe out. Come in. Breathe out. Come in. Just turn your sternum. Don't push the arms. Feel that you're wringing yourself out. In French, we call it essorage. So my right hip stays back when I turn to the left. Breathe out the other way. Your left hip stays back when you turn your chest to the right. Breathe out, right hip back. Whatever it is, your opposite hip. And last one, and turn, and come back, good work. Bring the hands up, turn both legs out, and again, not from the feet, from the hips. We can open them a little wider. Again, you want your pelvis over the center of your feet. You don't want your bum to stick out and move back, You're right over the center of your feet. And we're going to bend one leg. Again, your hips are square to me. You're opening one knee, is it over the second toe? Good alignment. Breathe in and go far away, up and over. Up and over. Up and over. The people who are supple, it's so easy to go over. It's harder to go up and over. Breathe in and come back with length. And again, bend. Here I'm opening that knee outwards. Breathe in. Up and over. Tummy buttons in. Okay, we're not in Harry Potter. We want to have our little portrait right in the middle of our frame. Breathe in and come out. No portraits who move in their frames. Breathe in. Move with your frame. Your arms the frame and the portrait stays in the middle of the frame. Beautiful. Breathe in and up and over. Use your strength of your tummy again. Breathe in. Watch your portrait stays in the frame. Go over. We're stretching. Go on. Find the stretch. Breathe in and up and over. Lovely. Come back. Feet parallel. Bend the legs. Bring the pole right in under your shoulders. We're going to do a forward movement with a flat back. So we're going to from here, the triangle is vertical. Breathe in and go forward with a flat back. 
the tummy's in, you're not arching. Absolute flat, make yourself into a table. Beautiful, look down, breathe in, pull in your tummy, come back, pushing your hips forward. Tummy in, tummy in, tummy in, hips forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Make sure that you're keeping your ribs part of your body, don't drop them out. I sometimes do that. Look down, breathe in, breathe out. Find your fans, hips forward, come back. And again, breathe in. Start breathing out. The end of your breath is when you arrive at the bottom of your movement. Breathe in. Breathe out. And come back. One more time. Breathe in. The legs are bent. Breathe out. Feet flat, absolutely parallel. Ribs are in. Now be careful. We're going to roll down. But rolling down is my waist lifts. Imagine you're going over a little pole now. Your waist is up. As you breathe out, you come back to straight back. This is hard. Pull your tummy in. Don't arch. Tummy in. Breathe in. You're going down, but your tummy button's lifting. You're going up and over. Breathe out and come back. Shoulders are down. Tummy's in. Pull your stomach in, 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 in. Breathe out. Go up and over. Go and pull your tummy up. You're going over an electrical fence. Nothing like being drastic. Breathe in. Breathe out. Pull your tummy in. Shoulders down. Reach your spine long, 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 right to the top of your head. Last one. Come up and over this electrical fence under your tummy. Go, go, go. Up, up, up. And let your arms go down. Big breath. And come up slowly. Take your time. Roll up. Shoulders down, nice and tall, nice and straight. Find your triangle. Very nice work. We're going to finish with a little bit of arm work to the back to open out our shoulders and also to give ourselves a bit of a back extension. Francoise, si vous êtes là, imagine mon genou un peu dans le dos et sans cette sensation de lever le sternum avec le dos qui passe au-dessus de ma jambe. So we're going to breathe in, breathing out, you're going to just push your arms back, opening your shoulders and release. And again, breathe out, shoulders down, push, open the shoulders, we're not turning in, we're opening them, this is hard. And come back. And again, breathe out and open. And shoulders down and back. And again, three. That's five, apparently. <laughs> and six. And seven. And eight. Hold the elbows where they are. Touch your bottom without breaking your wrists. Your wrists stay straight and straighten. One. Keep your wrists perfectly straight. Two. Shoulders are open. Three. And four. Go and open the shoulders. Five. Six. Seven. Hold straight. Bounce. Two, three, go and straighten those arms. And start from the top, breathe in. Your tummy lifts, think of your fans, press open, one. Open your fans. Breathe out, tummy in, close your fans. Les éventailles, devant et derrière, pense ça, ça. And again, tummy in, close your fans, front and back. Breathe in, open your fans, front and back. And good. And stop. Bend and stretch for one. Shoulders are open. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Little bounces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now for the movement where we go to lift our chest. Breathe in. Breathe out, shoulders down. Think of the tummy button lifting. You lift your sternum. Your head goes up and over the cushion that you use in the aeroplane. And come back. And again. Tummy up. Feel you lift your chest. 
Let the neck go back. And up. And again. Follow your eye line. Your eyes go up. Your chest follows. And come back. And again. Lift your eye line. Let your chest follow. And back last time. Big out breath, tummy. Eye line up. Chest up. Shoulders down. Feel it working. And come back. Beautiful work. Let's roll down and release our whole spine. Your feet are now hip width apart. Your hip joints are more or less the same width as your ears. So when we say hip width apart, it's not that wide, in fact. All right. So we're going to breathe in and start with our cervical spine. You have seven vertebrae in your cervical spine, so move them. Then you've got 12 in your thoracic spine. That's where your ribs are. If you need to take another breath, take a breath, and then start moving your five lowest vertebra avant before going down. Breathe in and breathe out. Lift from your tummy. Find your triangle. Lower spine. All the vertebrae of your ribcage. And then your neck. And again, big breath. Open your eventai, your fans, and start at the neck. Keep going down with the ribs. I'm coming forward. I'm watching. If you need to take an extra breath, take it. Go all the way down. Keep that feeling of tummy up, 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 up. Breathe into your back. Breathe out and come up slowly. Lovely. Open your shoulders. Be tall. And let's all do one more together. Breathe in. Breathe out. Start with the neck. Easy. The only thing that's keep on moving and working is your tummy. Tummy up and up and up. Breathe into your back as you're at the bottom. Breathe out again. Lift from your tummy. Pelvis is up. Roll yourself out and stop. Beautiful work. Today, I want you to stretch your bottom muscles. So sit down on the floor. Come down onto the floor. To finish, I'm going to give you a few options. If you have knee problems, just cross your leg over the other leg. I'll go like that. All right? If this is knee problem, people, and you're going to try and pull your leg, your knee to the opposite shoulder. You're trying to get a bit of a stretch here. If you don't have knee problems, then try and sit with one leg crossed in front of the other, like that, on the floor. You turn towards the foot that's on the inside, and you go down slowly. And we're just going to breathe over that leg. Everybody stay there and breathe. And I'm going to just demonstrate again for the people who can't do that. One leg is straight. The other leg is crossed over. You hold your knee with the opposite arm and you pull the knee towards your shoulder. That's people who have a problem doing other. If you've been in the other position, come up slowly. Remember which leg's at the back, because you need to change legs now. So you've got the other leg in front. You turn towards the inside leg, and again you go down on that side. While you're down there, breathe deeply, especially into your back. For the people who have knee problems, one leg straight, the other leg's across. And I'm pulling the knee to my shoulder. And I'm sitting up nice and tall. And breathe. And if you're not stretching around your bottom, really sort of around the hip, around the bottom, people who are in the other position is probably stretching you even up into your lower back, which is lovely. 
There you go. And relax. Come forward. Sit facing me. And just do some circles with your shoulders. See what I'm doing as I'm sitting here? It's especially for my students who are watching. Can you see this is my comfortable cross leg position? But look how my left knee is higher than my right one. That's not symmetrical. So rather, when you're working to be correct, sit in what we call is the long frog. Then you're perfectly symmetrical. Thank you very much. Have a lovely evening, a beautiful weekend. And I'll see you on Monday, 5.30s. But Monday we'll have a little bit more details and we'll work a little more slowly. Have a lovely weekend. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.